E-A-T-R, <laughs> pull up E-A-T-R robot. I'm trying to find out if it was real or where I think it's real, there. dude. I think it's real. Well, the, well, yeah, the Wikipedia said everything you were saying, and then it also included chicken fat was labeled as Oh, well. yeah, just chicken fat, guys. Yeah. It's, it's just Not chickens. dead people from yeah. some fucking bomb we dropped. Yeah. The and purpose of the energetically autonomous tactical robot eater, just the fact they call it eater, <laughs> patent pending, guys. <laughs> Hang on for that. We'll make a big announcement when the patent comes through. Project is developed and demonstrate an autonomous robot platform able to perform long-range, long-endurance missions without the need for manual or conventional refueling, which would otherwise preclude the ability of the robot to perform such missions. The system obtains its energy by foraging, engaging in biologically inspired organism-like energy harvesting behavior, which is the equivalent of eating. It fucking eats things. It can find, ingest, and extract energy from biomass in the environment and other organically based energy sources, as well as use conventional and alternative fuels such as gasoline. So it can eat everything. It eats everything. Gasoline, heavy fuel, kerosene, diesel, propane, coal, cooking oil and solar when suitable in addition to missions requiring long-range long endurance ability the eater can provide direct support to combat units without requiring labor or material logistic support for refueling because it eats the bodies on the field kids but you at least it's great for its own energy while the unit rested or remain in position so what you like about the terminator at least it didn't fucking eat you <laughs> this is so crazy what a good idea though I mean, like, it's a good idea because otherwise, like those bodies are just gonna sit there. Yeah. What do you want to do? You want to feed the wolves, feed the the vultures, or feed your robots and win this fucking war, kids? Win I mean, this war for America. <sighs> it's the most uplifting episode of the Joe Rogan Experience <laughs> How ever. <laughs> How wild is that? That's, that's fucking a real wild. Thing. That is, but a good idea, right? If you were a sociopath, like that's. I mean, if you want to make a war machine, look. If, I, I shouldn't even say sociopath. If you want to make something that saves soldiers' lives, how about a fucking robot? Robot that fights. It needs bodies. But it, it comes to the point. <laughs> it comes to the point, right? Why don't we engineer werewolves? Why don't you just, like, let werewolves loose? <laughs> but you look at all of this stuff and you then go, well, then what's the purpose of us? Yeah. You know, that that's the fundamental question here. It, because if the most important thing in life for any human being is to have a purpose, mm. whatever that purpose is. Why is that, though? Why is that? Because it gives you a reason to get up in the morning. It gives you a reason to do what you do. It gives you a reason to move forward. The right. worst thing for a human being to have is no purpose, to have a lack of purpose, because then you feel empty and hopeless. Right. Yeah, we talk about a crisis of meaning in the West particularly. I mean, that's what it is, right? A lot of people not having purpose. And then it plays into what we were talking about earlier, which is you go on social media and you can attack somebody and that, that gives you power, that right. gives you meaning. Yeah, that, that is a thing that people connect themselves to. They get meaning out of destroying other people. Yeah. yeah. It's really fascinating. Yeah, yeah, because that's your ideology and Especially your team you wins. Especially feel justified in doing so. Yeah. Right? The person uh, disagrees with you, supports some other candidates, right. supports yeah. some ideas you don't like, because pro-life is this, is that. And you're morally superior because they disagree with you. Yeah, you're morally superior because um, I forget who was talking to David Pakman. Someone was talking to David Pakman, and they brought up this idea of if you were... A